Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 FE and in this video I will show you top 20 tips and tricks for this tablet. So guys the first tab is related to the double tap to turn on or off the screen. So for example I double tap the screen now it is turn off okay and if I want to turn it on again I just do the double tap and it will turn on okay. So how you can do it. So first of all uh, just go into your settings okay. I go into settings okay and then once you enter into the settings just scroll down from uh, the left side and then you will see an option of advanced features so just select it okay once you select it on the right side you will see an option of motions and gestures okay just select it okay and then you see the very first option over here it says double tap to turn on the screen just enable it if it is disabled just enable it like this and the second option is double tap to turn off the screen so again just enable it as well so once you do it everything is fine so simply just double tap on the screen it will turn off and double tap again it will turn on the second tip is related to adding new app on the home screen so whenever you download a new app it will appear on the home screen so how you can enable it so simply just hold the home screen okay like this okay so once you hold it you will see an option of settings okay so just select it and once you select it you will see an option over here it says add new apps to home screen so it will add apps to the home screen automatically when they are first downloaded from the play store so just enable it okay so this is the second tip the third tip is related to sorting your all apps according to alphabetical orders so for example this is uh, my app screen okay so you want to arrange all these apps according to the alphabetical order so how you can do it so simply just you see on the top there is a search bar and then we have three dots over here so just select it and once you select it the very first option over here it says sort so just select it and once you select it you will see two options custom order and the alphabetical order so I select the alphabetical order so once you select the alphabetical order all your apps will arrange according to the alphabetical order and it is very easy to find the apps if they are in alphabetical order the fourth tip is related to turn off your Google feed so for example if you swipe down the home screen to the right so google feed uh, will appear on your screen so if you don't want this google feed uh, so what you can do is you can just disable it so how you can disable it uh, just tap and uh, hold the home screen like this so okay like that and then uh, just bring uh, this uh, google feed over here okay in the middle and once you bring it into the middle you will see on top it's there there is a toggle just, just turn it off okay so I turn it off okay so now there will be no Google feed okay so I will show you so if you bring uh, you if you swipe it like right it will not bring the Google feed in front of you if you want to turn it on you can turn it on again same way just hold it like this and bring it like that and then turn it on the fifth tip is related to this notification panel okay so now you have to go all the way to the top to bring down the notification panel uh, but with this new setting that I will show you you can uh, just uh, scroll down anywhere in the screen and the notification panel will appear so how you can do it just tap and hold the home screen okay and then from here go to the settings okay and once you enter into the settings you will see an option over here it says swipe down for notification panel so you can open the notification panel by swiping down anywhere on the home screen so just turn it on so now I turn it on now for example I just swipe down from here you see notification panel will appear even if I do it from here even if I do from here so anywhere in the screen I do the notification panel will appear the next tip is related to the selection of your favorite multitasking apps so guys for example I open the Samsung notes and uh, I uh, try to take some notes I'm making my notes and in the meantime I also want to watch some lecture or I want to open and search on the Google so I just drag out this tray from side I open the Samsung internet I just drag it like this okay 
in the uh, on the side and then i can also access it okay and then i want to open one more app let's say uh, i want to open the calendar okay i just drag it and then i drop it over here so i can just uh, you see three apps are working perfectly fine i can use all of the three apps now i want to make uh, this uh, combination my favorite combination and i want to save it so when i open i just open these three apps together at same time what i will do you see there are three dots over here and then you see over here there's option it says add pair to edge panel so i just select it and once i select it these three apps are now saved now i can go back and i work in other apps and then in the meantime if i want to open my favorite apps okay i just go over here you see there is a combination over there i just select it and then it will open three apps together for me and i can access all of the three apps the next step is related to removing bixby from uh, your uh, power button so for example if i press the power button to turn off the tablet it is not turning off the tablet instead it's open the bixby for me but i want Welcome to use to this I want to use this button only to turn off the tablet how you can do it so simply you have to go into the settings okay I just go into my settings okay so once you enter into the settings you will see an option over here it says advanced features so I just select the advanced feature once you enter into the advanced feature the uh, option over here on the right side it says side key so just select it once you select it on the downside you see it says press and hold wake bixby or power of menu so i select this power of menu because i want to use this button for the power of only so everything is done now i go back and then if i try to turn off my tablet uh, with the power button from here you see so i just press it and hold it and then it give me the option of power off and restart so you can use this button for only uh, this uh, power off and restart so guys the next step is related to running uh, your tab in a smooth way to uh, so you can uh, perform uh, properly on your tablet so what you have to do you have to always update uh, your apps so how you can um, uh, do it so first of all go into the galaxy store and once you enter into the galaxy store you will see an option over here it says menu uh, this menu option just select it and then you see there is the updates option over here so just select it and once you select it it will uh, bring you all the uh, apps that needs to be updated so what you can do is just select this option of update all so always uh, keep uh, your apps update all the time to run your apps smoothly so now it start updating all of the apps and now the performance after this update uh, will be really really amazing so you have to update all your apps all the time so the next tip is related to having a full screen okay so if you want to remove these three buttons you can do it uh, so how you can do it simply go into the settings once you enter into the settings you will see an option of display so just select it once you select this display option you have to see the option of navigation bar so here is the navigation bar just select it and once you select it you will see an option of buttons and swipe gestures so if you select the swipe gestures okay so you see the button will remove so i will show you you see over here the button is now removed if you go back over here and then you see there are no buttons and then you have the full screen interface you can see over here so if you want to remove this navigation bar go again to the settings okay just go to the display and then go into the navigation bar and here you have swipe gestures and button gestures so you can select the buttons you can also change the position of your buttons as well for example if you want to uh, move this to that side you can also do it you can also change the but button position so currently it is in the center so you can change it to the left or to the right so right is better because you can use uh, with your uh, right hand and then you can operate uh, your tablet as well but it's up to you whichever position you want the next tip is related to the samsung dex if you want to have a desktop like experience what you can do is just scroll down the notification panel and then you will see an option of dex over here you see this dex so just select it it will open a new interface for you which is exactly same like the desktop experience and you can open multiple apps you can open multiple windows in the uh, samsung dex 
so now i will show you so now you can see over here the samsung dex is now open you see it is same like uh, your desktop experience you have different apps over here on the downside if you want to open more apps more options are over here so you can select any app for example like this app you can open in the uh, then open the internet okay you see you can open it in the uh, you can see there are multi windows you can open for example if you want to open the galaxy store you can also open okay so all of the uh, multi windows app you can open and then if you want to go back you want to exit just go over here select this exit dex mode and then it will go back to the normal mode the next tip is related to the edge panel so guys if i bring out the edge panel you can see over here we have different apps option you can open okay and now if you want more option in the edge panel for example i scroll it then you see there is more option for live messages then we have other options okay then we have more options over here you see reminder so you see there are different options i can use in this edge panel so how you can enable it so first of all go into the settings and once you enter into the settings settings you will see the option of a display once you enter into the display you see the option of edge panels okay you see edge panels just select it once you select it you will see the option of panels over here so just select it and then here you have all the options so you can select the uh, you, uh, task live messages reminder okay so any option you can select for example weather tool so you can also select all of these uh, panels option so just go back and once you go over here to the handle you see you can access all the other options in the edge panel okay so you can see over here so you can um, uh, use this option the next tip is also related to the edge panel you can also add more apps just select these three dots select all apps or edit so i select the edit option so once you select the edit option you can remove the apps from the panel for example i want to remove this app uh, this favorite app this app and i want to add more apps over here from my other apps from the normal apps i just select it like this for example note shell i just drag it and then you can put it any position so i put it over here okay and then for example i want to add photos okay so i can just put it like this so here you can add so i will again do it so for example i put it like this and i put it over here so you can see i can add or remove the apps from the edge panel guys to save the battery of uh, your tablet what you can do is you can go to the settings okay and then go to the display and you can select the dark mode so it will consume less battery as compared to the light mode and then you also have one more option which is the screen timeout so screen timeout you can select any uh, um, which consume less battery any timeout you can select so so you can select for example two minutes five minutes yeah, so normally two minutes is better but it's up to you whichever screen time out you want so this will save the battery as well the next tip is related to the sound so guys for example you want to have a best quality of sound in your tablet so always select the Dolby Atmos what you can do is um, just go into your settings and once you enter into the settings you will see an option of sound over here so just select it and once you select it you uh, go over here and then you see the option of sound quality and effects so just select it and once you select it you will see the first option over here it says Dolby uh, Atmos so just select it so it will give you the best sound experience in your tablet the next tip is related to the biometric and security so you can add alternative look for your face recognition for example you can add uh, your uh, 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 your face recognition with glasses or without glasses so how you can do it just go into the settings once you enter into the settings you will see an option of biometrics and security once you enter into the biometrics and security select the first option of face recognition enter your pattern okay and then you will see the option of add alternative look so once you select this add alternative look you will see it gives you the option of do you wear glasses if you do put them on now so you can register your face both with glasses and without them so you can use this option for biometrics and security as well 
so guys the next feature is related to the screenshot there are many ways you can use the power button and volume down button together to take the screenshot or you can use your palm swipe as well just do it like this and it will take the screenshot i will show you so do it like that and it will take the screenshot the other option is using your s pen so for example uh, you select this air command option okay open the air command from here and then select uh, this uh, screen right option so once you select it it will also take the screenshot and then if you want you can also edit it you can annotate it you can write on it on your screenshot this is how you can take the screenshot and you can do the screen recording as well so for example i just scroll down and then you see the option of screen recording okay so just select it and it will start recording your screen you can also edit your screen you can also annotate for example if you want to write something okay while recording you can uh, make a recording of your lectures so you can do a lot in this so guys the next tip is relating to adding more buttons into your notification panel so how you can do it just uh, bring down the notification panel okay just go to this side and then you see this a plus sign option over here this plus sign icon so just select it and then you see available buttons option so you can add these more options over here for example bedtime mode you can add you can just scroll it like this so to bring it over here just just scroll it okay like that and then if you want to pick this secure folder you can also bring it okay then a daily board you can also do it and then you can also change their position as well if you want to change the position and once you are done with your notification panel you press this done button so everything will be ready the next step is related to s pen settings so you can access the s pen settings just go into the normal settings okay and once you enter into the settings just scroll down from your left side and then you will see the option of advanced features so just select it and then on the right side you see s pen option is over there so once you select it you will have access to all s pen settings so you can see over here screen of memo quick create notes s pen to text okay so all these options are available okay so you can enable all of them so for example s pen to text you can enable so if you want to open a website okay you can um, uh, use it for example i open this website okay and then i want to write something okay so for example I remove this one okay and then I want to write here google.com so I will write with my pen okay and then you will see it will appear over here and then simply I press enter and it will open the website for me so this is how you can use different s pen functions I made a separate video about it as well the next tip is related to the software update of the tablet so guys you have to keep your uh, soft, uh, software up to date always so how you can check it just go into the settings okay once you enter into the settings on the left side you will see an option of uh, uh, software update so you can see over here so just select it and once you select it on the right side you can see download and install okay so you can see you have all the latest uh, software update information over here so you have to check it and once um, uh, you see a notification about the software update so you can update it from here the last tip is related to uh, hiding an app if you want to hide some of your apps so how you can do it for example if you want to hide this samsung free okay uh, so just go into your settings okay once you enter into the settings just go into the home screen okay just select the home screen and then you will see the option of hide apps okay just select this hide apps option so whatever app you want to hide you can hide it uh, from here for example we want to hide uh, this samsung free okay so we just select it like this so now it will go over here in the hidden apps tab well everything is done just press the done button so now that app is hidden now so for example you can see the app is not visible over here so you cannot see the apps the app is hidden but if you want to access it you can go in the search bar write the name of the app and then it will appear and then you can open it from here even if it's hidden or if you want you can also unhide it by the same way so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much